I am coming to you from ice cold Alabama. The sun's coming up and it might warm up a little bit. We're at the ABA Championship on Lake Wheeler and we got the cream of the crop out here. Even though it's freezing cold and we had an Arctic blast that really affected the fishing, there's largemouth, there's smallmouth, and these guys know how to catch them. Let's see what they can do. Uh, we are fishing the ABA Championship, the Ray Scott Championship, and it is cold out here. It's probably 25 degrees for a start. So I know what's in there, uh -huh. and if they will just bat, sometimes one of them small ones is batting like that a couple days, you'll get in there and get a hold of them big ones. We caught up with our leader, Albert Collins, here in Alabama. He's from East Texas. Let me tell you, it's freezing out here. Have you ever fished anything this cold before? Yeah, I have. We, we, we fish tournaments down at home in the wintertime, and occasionally it's, uh, it's in the 18s, 20s, you know, and, and uh, two years ago I fished a classic at Grand, and it was cold there. This is, this is not that bad. Initial time, 619. First flight, check in, 3 o'clock. First flight, 3 o'clock. Be careful the wind, boat number one. This morning it's a lot colder than it's been. Uh, when I say a lot, it's probably five or six degrees cooler. The wind's not helping matters. Temperature this morning is about 25 degrees. The real feel is probably down in the teens somewhere with the wind. We got about 10 mile an hour, 10 to 12 mile an hour wind. And uh, the bad thing is it's blowing right in these guys' faces. They're running, so not only are they running 70 miles an hour, they got an additional headwind blowing at them coming out of the north. So it's pretty chilly this morning. You see a lot of guys in motorcycle helmets and frozen mustaches. So. The weekend Bass Series anglers that are here at the Ray Scott Championship, they worked hard all year to get here. These are the best of the best weekend fishermen in the country. Not that there's not some serious anglers here that have not fished on the professional level yet. We do have some of those anglers, but primarily these are all working class weekend guys. They fish five weekend series bass events in their respective division to qualify to a regional championship. Then these guys had to finish in the top 20% of the field at the regional championship. The winner of that regional championship also took home another Triton boat, by the way. After qualifying through the top 20% of that regional, they make it here where they're fishing for 100,000 first place. Fishing with the Alabama rig, fishing the edge of this drop off on this main channel out here. I'm hoping that with the conditions and the cold weather, we've got the fish coming out to us. I feel like we do. White bass. Catch a lot of them things. Lots of them little critters in this thing. Baby. There you go. Number one. See if we can get something going now. Ain't big. But it's number two. Number two. Getting better. Hopefully it's fixing to start a bite. At number three. A little Kentucky bass, but hey, it's a fish. Right now, I'm good with it. We caught up with our leader, Albert Collins, this morning. And he's actually done really well in these post-cold front conditions we've got today. All right, Albert, so how are the conditions today versus yesterday? No current. I think it's the worst thing on me right now. Uh, no clouds, which I, when I found these fish, it was sunny then anyhow. So I don't think that's the problem. I think there's lack of current. I think I need the current to put these fish behind these stumps. Right now I feel like they're just scattered out. All the bait fish are moving up shallow. Oh, that's a good, that's a good spot. Good, good small. Big small. Thank you. Pretty small now. Yeah, 17 and a half inches. Number five, number five. I just need to catch a kicker or two. You know, fortunately yesterday I got a six pounder. Day before yesterday I caught a four and a half pounder and that's the difference I need right now. With leader Albert Collins working on a kicker fish to hang on to his lead, other anglers coming to the scales did better than expected despite the colder than normal conditions. At the 
the scales, it's pretty impressive. These guys know how to catch fish. Back to Albert Collins. He did get his kicker. He heads to the scales, hoping to keep his lead on the field. It's gonna be a 6.03 and he takes new first place and big bass. So you're going into the last day, leading the leaderboard. What do you feel? <clears throat> a lot of pressure. Yeah. Uh, you know, winning this thing two years ago was was made a lot of difference in my life. Real fortunate to, to have the equipment I've got right now. Uh, if I could win this tournament, it would just, it would double my ability just to go fish and do what I want to do. North American Fisherman is brought to you by Triton Boats. We take America fishing. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the final day of the Ray Scott National Championship. The final day of the Ray Scott AVA Championship is met by even colder conditions. The AVA has narrowed the field to the top 25 anglers. Leader Albert Collins goes into the final day leading, but tired. I didn't sleep very well. I uh, laid there all night thinking, hopefully, hopefully it'll all come together this morning for me. I think I can catch a few fish. I don't, I, you know, if I get lucky enough to get a good, get a good bite again, that's, that's gonna be the teller. It is the last day of the ABA Championship here on Lake Wheeler, Alabama. It's a little bit cool outside this morning still. It's about in the 20s, but it has calmed down nicely, and we are paired up with the last 25 teams of the championship. The best of the best are out here. The fish are biting. We're going to see what these guys can do. The anglers that are here competing in the Ray Scott Championship are competing for that $100,000 first place. That's the most money the majority of these anglers have ever fished for in their fishing career. But to take it a step further, the next Ray Scott Championship, we're raising that first place amount to $120,000, making the Ray Scott Championship the highest paying tournament for a weekend angler of any bass fishing organization out there. Well, one great thing about my job is I get to really meet some true legends in the fishing business. I'm here with Ray Scott, the founder of Bass. It's unbelievable oh, to a, meet you, What a friend. pleasure to meet you. And well. uh, it happens to be the uh, name on this Ray Scott Championship. Here. Hey, cool. That's yeah. right. Well, they named I've never had anything named after me like this except my son. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's He's all right. He's a junior. Yeah, I, I know you've been doing this a long time, man, and you know I must be a pretty, pretty well, well honor to what have is, been named after you. It's, it is. A, it's a high honor. They do a marvelous job. These tournaments, and I, you know, I've had some people try to do this before, but they they do such a good job. I think it's the finest tournament in America, in my opinion. It's just well organized, well conceived, have good rules that are carefully enforced, and don't have a problem because of the enforcement factor. And to have this great tournament named after me, I'm high cotton. <laughs> So what do you think about all these weekend guys coming in here and, and having a chance to compete for $100,000? It's pretty incredible, huh? I think it's more than incredible. I think it's a wonder. Look back how far we've traveled to get to this point and pretty darn good fishing as well. The Ray Scott ABA Championship is the culmination of a long season of success for Albert Collins and every other angler here on Lake Wheeler. These guys are not pros. Instead, they are everyday working guys who love the sport of bass fishing. I've spent the last 23 years working as a plumber and uh, bass fishing, you know, on the weekends and in the evenings when I could get off work early enough to go to the lake. Uh, got remarried about 12 years ago, got the best wife in the world. She backs me 100%. When you're working and you're trying to fish a tournament every weekend, every given minute you got, you're, you're on the water, you're thinking about it, you're preparing for it. But I use every time that I go to the water as something to try to be productive as far as my tournament fishing goes. The average, everyday working person, $100,000 goes a long way. Then ABA is the only place I know of at this level that you can do it, and it has been great. And I, I really would like to see a lot more people fishing. From 97 to, about actually about 10 years, 97 to 2007, I quit fishing to uh, raise family, you know, take care of kids. and and uh, would do it again tomorrow if I needed to, you know. Second, fishing second to me, to family. But uh, that's about all it's second to. I believe that's another white. Let's fish on. No, that's a large mouth. Keeper number four. I hope they buy it earlier than they did yesterday because yesterday it was all after two o'clock and we got our two o'clock check-in today. Uh, 
my three biggest fish yesterday came between two and three. Maybe. Oh, fish maybe on right today, there. I think that's a white. Yeah, another white bass. The moment of truth is just ahead as 25 of the best bass fishermen in the country head back to the weigh-in. Does Albert Collins have enough to win this tournament a second time? It all depends on the success of the other 24 anglers. From the early looks of things, it's going to be close. Welcome to beautiful Lake Wheeler in Decatur, Alabama. This is where 75 of the best fishermen in the country arrived for the Ray Scott ABA Championship. The final day cut down to the top 25, all gunning for the $100,000 prize. These guys here are fishing for $100,000. It's the most money they may ever fish for in their fishing career. Does Albert Collins have enough to win this tournament a second time? It all depends on the success of the other 24 anglers. From the early looks of things, it's going to be close. This fish is going to weigh in at 12.74. You do get to take the hot seat because that puts you in first place. Yeah. Winner, spread it out. You've got 42.89. That does put you in first place with 49.57. Right on some of them all. 16.28 pounds. You just took over first place. Pretty much just throw the spinner bait for the entire four days. Just and it did it. Stayed with it. Just got lucky and got some bigger bites today. Finally, Albert Collins, who has led pretty much the entire tournament, makes his way to the stage. Albert has 14.34 pounds, 56.18. Congratulations, Albert. $100,000, and let's get you that trophy over here. When you got to the weigh scale, I mean, what were you thinking? You know? I was nervous. I didn't, I, I, you know, it's so easy for somebody to catch up. 17, 18, 19 pound stringer. And I had a little more weight than I thought I had. And I knew the guy that weighed in, that, had a, that weighed in up there, he, he, uh, he made me real nervous. <laughs> he got a little higher than I wanted him to. It, it, it was a relief, a big relief. Uh, you don't realize how stressful something like this is. I mean, it's really, really, it, 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 it just mentally tears me apart. Mr. Ray Scott presenting his first Race Scott Championship Trophy to Mr. Albert Collins from Nacogdoches, Texas. <laughs>